Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe and this is Bootstrapping Tools Community Support where we help scrappy bootstrappers just like yourself figure out how to overcome some of the hurdles or obstacles that they're facing while trying to make their everyday operations faster and more efficient. Now, before we dive into today's video, make sure to check out our YouTube channel. We got lots of videos up there that go through all sorts of different low code and no code tools, uh, including Retool, Google Apps Scripts, Google Data Studio, as well as many others. If you don't see what you're looking for, feel free to shoot an email over to feedback at bootstrapping.tools. We'll be happy to take a look at that application and make a video just for you. Make sure to also hit that like button if you do like the content that we're putting out. It's the best way to support this channel and help us continue to make content for you and help you overcome some of the obstacles or just become better at everything that you're doing, whether that's creating your own company, your own startup, or just developing you know, better uh, techniques and methods to make your work easier and better. So in today's topic, we're gonna to be helping out this uh, Reddit poster over here where Opie was saying they're trying to auto sort their spreadsheet so that whenever they ch uh, check off one of these items that it'll just auto sort down to the bottom of the list so that as they look at the top of the list it's always things that are still remaining to be done the outstanding items so let's head over to our spreadsheet i have a demo one set up for us already uh, so we have two columns one for completed and one for the task and the completed has a checkbox if you don't know how to create a checkbox it's pretty easy you just click on one of the cells and then you go over to the data option located at the uh, menu bar on the upper top portion of it. You click on that and you select data validation. And then from there, in the criteria, you can just select checkbox and hit save. And then that'll inject a, text, uh, a checkbox field right in there. So let's really add one more task over here. And we'll make that do stuff 11. So what we're going to be using is the script editor. And to access that, go over to your menu bar again and then click on tools and then select script editor from there. I actually have a script editor already open uh, for this demo and I've already renamed that to auto sort demo. So when you open it up for the first time, you're gonna get a empty function called my function. I'm just gonna rename that to sort by checkbox. And before we actually do the automation here, we're gonna write a script to, that sorts uh, the spreadsheet according to the checkboxes. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare a variable for spreadsheet. We're going to call that SS for short. And then we're going to say spreadsheet app. And then we're going to say get active spreadsheet, just to make sure that we're looking at the right one. And then we're going to declare a variable for sheet. And then we're going to say SS dot get sheet by name. And you can put in whatever name that's, uh, that sheet is, that tab in your Google Sheet. For us, I didn't rename it, so it just defaults to sheet one. And then from there, we need to get the range. So we're going to say var range. Uh, to declare the range and then in the sheet we're going to say get range and then within this function um, there are four variables that we can pass the first one is the starting row the second one is the starting column so if we do one one it's going to start from cell a1 however in our spreadsheet we don't want to mess with the top row because that's our column header so we want to start from the second row so instead of doing one one what we're going to do is we're going to do two so starting from row two and then column one, which then will equate to cell A2 is where we're starting. And then the next parameter is going to be the number of rows. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say sheet.get last row. And what this does is it takes a look at the sheet, takes a look at all the cells that has data and gets the last row available for it. So for that index. So if you don't have data all the way down to row 1000 and you only have up to 100, it'll return 100. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the columns, but instead of doing get last sheet, uh, get last row, we're gonna say get last column. And that way we'll be able to get only the data set that we care about. So before we move any further, let's do a console log here. It's always good to take a look at the data set that we have. We do range.get values so we can see what information is being passed through. Let's save this. And then we're gonna hit the run button. And we'll see here that it displays all those values. The checkboxes currently are unchecked, so it's false. And then we have do stuff up to 11. So we don't need this anymore. Now, the function that we're going to use to sort everything is actually just built in to uh, Google's app script. And it's uh, according to the class range. And what that's going to let us do is it's going to let us call that whenever we have a range and sort that by however we want. 
So there are a couple of parameters in here that we can include, column and ascending. So what we want is column one, because that's where the checkbox is. And then we want ascending to be true um, because we want the false ones to be on top of the true. So that the false are showing up on top and the true value is showing on the bottom. So going back to our code over here, we're gonna do range.sort. And then in here, we're gonna add some curly brackets. And then we're gonna say column is one and ascending is true. Before we run this, let's go back into our spreadsheet and just check box, uh, check off a couple of things here. So four, six, and eight. When we run this code, we expect that those three items are going to get sorted automatically down to the bottom of the list. So save this and then run it. So you start it and execution complete it. We go back in here, you can see it auto sorted itself down to the bottom. So now that we have this working, the next step is to uh, create automation with it. And the way we're gonna create automation is by using uh, what we call an installable trigger. So to access triggers, uh, hover over on the left side, you're gonna see an option for triggers over here. When you click on that, it's gonna, be it's gonna take you over to the triggers uh, page. And then the add trigger button, I'm actually blocking it right here. It's like behind me, believe me, this, this little blue pill thing, that's part of the button. When you click on that, it's gonna throw up a little modal that you can choose. So you can get to choose the function that you wanna run, the event source, which is from the spreadsheet, and then you're gonna select the event type to be on edit. That way, whenever someone edits uh, a cell in here, it's going to uh, run this um, function. So we hit save. And once that operates, you can see here, the function is sort by checkbox. And let's go back over to our code. The way that you use this is by passing through a parameter. We're gonna call it E just for short, um, stand, stands for event. And then we want to set the spreadsheet, the SS variable, instead of saying spreadsheet app that got active spreadsheet, we're gonna say E dot source. And then from there, everything else should just work as we expect it. So if we save this and we go back over to our spreadsheet, when we click on one of these, it's going to auto sort it. So if we say, oh, do stuff seven, I've completed that. We're gonna click on that, it's gonna run and then auto sort it for us, as you can see. And if we said, oh, oops, actually do stuff eight is not complete, and we uncheck that, it's gonna auto sort it again so that it now appears above all the completed items. So another thing that you might wanna do is if you're you know, working on another sheet uh, and you don't want this to, um, I guess, get kind of muddied up with that, you can add an if statement if you want. Uh, it's really up to you uh, if you wanna do that doesn't really matter, but if you were to do that, what you can do is you can declare a variable called edit cell and set that equal to e.range. Now the e.range is going to include a couple of parameters in there. So let's actually console log that just so I can show you. And that's going to be edit cell. Save that, go in here, we'll just uncheck do stuff seven go back into our execution logs, which is located on the upper left. Click, click on executions, and it's gonna be the most recently completed one. You can see here the parameters that we're getting is column ends, column start, row end, and row start. And this is just a good way for you to make sure that what you're looking for you know, when that edit occurs is correct so that you can do the auto sorting. Just in case you don't wanna always auto sort, it's really up to you. We go back over to our code. The way that you would set this up is by saying if, edit cell dot column start equals one. And you wanna do the double equal sign so it's because it's the comparison and then double ampersand so that you're saying an and statement here. So let's copy this, paste it in and then rename column start to column end. And what this is gonna tell us is that it, the edited cell is actually in column one and only in column one is the one that we're checking. You can also add a couple of other things in here too. Before we do that, let's take this range sort and just populate it into the if statement so that we can only run it when that occurs. And we'll do a console log here that says nothing was, something else was changed. And then within the, uh, the if statement when it's true, we'll say console log a task was completed. Can actually move that now. We don't need this console log. Save this. When you go in here, we'll say we put in this. It's not going to run it. And we we'll go over to the execution logs. 
and check on the information, just hit the refresh button, we'll see that something else has changed. And then if we do checkbox, uh, click on the checkbox for one of these, it's gonna auto sort it because it actually passed the if statement. And we go back to our execution logs, we'll see that a new execution appeared. And we open that up, the console log says task was completed. And that's, that's just an easy way for you to control when you wanna trigger um, this auto sorting and when you don't. Or I guess it really depends on what your use case is, but hey, you have this technique, so if you wanna use it, you can totally use it. But that's it for this support, uh, this community support video. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, to make sure that you get notified when we uh, release the next video. And also the like button is the best way to uh, support this channel and make sure that we can continue making content just for you. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools Community Support. It's been a pleasure and we're out.